Five, we should get government out of the areas and functions and activities where government does not belong. Again, again, all steps to this end should be taken gradually, but nevertheless just as rapidly as enough of the American people can be persuaded to support such progress. Any such achievement will require a truly massive educational force, but that's exactly what we hope to build during the next 15 years. We could go ahead for at least a hundred numbered items, but the John Birch Society will undoubtedly be working on more than that many specific projects, which will be laid out in its bulletins before another 180 months will have rolled around. And all of them will fit into, all of these projects will fit into the general pattern indicated by the five major objectives listed above. So let's really wind up this marathon monologue with one final thought. None of us can guarantee anything about what the future will bring. Your speaker knows what a job we have before us to rid our country of the scourge of communism within the next few years and then to go ahead on our constructive program so well that 15 years from now we shall already be entering an era of far less government, of a much sounder sense of responsibility, and with God's help of a better world. But I sincerely believe that it can be done, and this much I know, that every man and woman in this audience should leave here tonight feeling in his or her own mind and heart that it can and must be, bedo must be done, then it surely will be. And so, all of you patriots of good character, good conscience, and noble ideals, whom we can reach with the filmed version of this speech in a thousand other audiences, it is with a great deal of confidence and energizing will to win that we invite you to join us in our epic undertaking. While to all of you great, wonderful friends in this present audience, I certainly extend my very deep thanks indeed for so much patience and attention. Thank you. And good night.